Hey everyone, Ben's95, uh, back with another uh, record collection video. Uh, and in this one, I'm going to be covering the letter M and the letter N. So, uh, um, this could be a very short video, depending on um, how long I uh, uh, kind of explain myself or explain uh, the records. Uh, so, uh, yeah, let's begin the video. First record I have uh, for the letter M is uh, John Cougar, American Fool. Um, technically, this would be labeled under the letter C, but I decided to let it, uh, to, to label it under the letter M because um, his name is now, of course, uh, John Mellencamp. So, uh, uh, yeah, this is the one that features uh, Jack and Diane and... Uh, my favorite song by uh, Mel uh, John Mellencamp, uh, Heard So Good. And then we have John Cougar Mellencamp, Scarecrow. And this is the one that features uh, Rain on the Scarecrow, um, Lonely All Night, Small Town and Rock in the USA. Pat Metheny Group. Uh, this is a uh, it's a jazz um, jazz album. It's like jazz fusion. Um, basically, like it's the jazz guitar, you know. Um, also labeled as like smooth jazz in some way, and it's uh, quite good. It's quite a good album. There's not much I can say about it. Um, Metallica, Kill 'Em All. Um, now there's a story behind this album. Uh, one year for my birthday, I got uh, a Metallica record, and um, of course I'm not a huge Metallica fan. You know, I uh, um, and even before I was never a fan of Metallica, and uh, yeah, I got this record from Metallica. It was uh, Master of Puppets, and I really didn't know what to make of it, so. I thought, you know, what the hell, I'll just, you know, I'll play the record, you know, make make for what it is, and, yeah, and uh, so I played it, and uh, I found out it was warped, so I brought it back to the place that it came from, and I thought, you know, I'm not going to uh, get a, another copy of Master of Puppets, I thought, why not start from the beginning of Metallica's career, and I decided to get this one. This is a really good album, you know. Um, this is when uh, Cliff Burton was still in the band, the bass player. This is the one that features. Uh, this is the the album that features the song um, "Seek and Dis Seek and Destroy," I believe that's the song. Yeah, "Seek and Destroy." So yeah, um, this is a this is a really good album. Uh, I'm not a huge, and again, like I'm also not a huge uh, like thrash metal, speed metal type fan. You know, I'm not into uh, Megadeth or uh, Anthrax or Slayer or any of, <coughs> excuse me, any of those bands. But uh, you know, the stuff that Metallica did in the 1980s is actually quite good. So that's really all I can bear. You know, um, you know, but after that, like I'm not crazy about their commercial stuff. You know the stuff that kind of uh, broke through, uh, where the, you know where they broke through and uh, with commercial success. Uh, so like the Black Album and onwards, I'm not a fan of that kind of that that the the music that he did in the, um, you know, after the 1980s. So uh, yeah, this is a this is a good album, and I would get definitely get the the next uh, few albums. Um, that came after 
that, so. Yeah, it's a good album. And then uh, we've got uh, Midnight Oil, Diesel and Dust. And with the gate folds. And this is the one that features the song uh, Beds Are Burning. Uh, from what I know uh, about this band, I mean, I don't know too much about them, but I know that uh, I think they're quite, in some way, political, you know, their, their music. Because um, the way that Beds Are Burning, I've heard that that song is very, um, it's got a, the lyrics are very almost, political in some way you know like it explain it it uh it talks about you know um not actually it's not politics i think it's about um uh what is it um the environment i believe it's about the environment that they talk about uh in that song and uh yeah it's uh it's quite cool to have this album, you know. They're pretty cool. And next I have uh, Eddie Money, self-titled. And this is the one that features the songs Two Tickets to Paradise and uh, Baby Hold On. Montrose, and this band featured Sammy Hagar before he joined uh, Van Halen, and this is the one that features, uh, this is the album that features um, the songs Rock the Nation and uh, part, uh, no, sorry, uh, Bad Motor Scooter. Good hard rock right there. Next we have Harry Nelson, Nelson Schmelson. For those you you know who know uh, this album, this is the one that features the song Coconut. Uh, a very you know nutty tune, but still very good. Uh, and those who may know, or those who have seen the movie Reservoir Dogs, uh, know that that song is featured at the very end of the movie. Um, it also features uh, his cover of Badfinger's uh, song Without You. And we have a couple Gary Newman records here. Um, Gary Newman and uh, Two Way Army. Replicas. And this is uh, this is the one that features the song uh, "Our Friends Electric," and um, yeah, so it's basically it's some some good, you know, early post punk, all well, not early post punk, post punk um, and new wave, early new wave and post punk synth pop stuff, you know. So yeah, it's good. And then uh, finally we have uh, the Pleasure Principle, and this is the one that features his uh, big hit Cars. But it's not just known for Cars; it's got some other good songs on here. You know, uh, some other good tracks on here are uh, the songs uh, Complex and Conversation, as well as Emmy. So yeah, uh, this album is you know you have to you have to look past um, you know the the good the goodness of or sorry the greatness of uh, the song Cars you know 
and uh, see that there's more there's more to to cars than or more to Gary Newman than the song cars. There's uh, there are other great songs on this that uh, people need to check out. So yeah, this is a good uh, new wave synth pop record. And uh, yeah, that's my uh, video. Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, it, and uh, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you think, um, and I'll be back uh, again soon with another record video, record collection video, uh, and that one will probably be uh, separated into two parts, um, depending exactly on uh, what the uh, you know, what what it is that, uh, or the letters that, or how many records I have. So, uh, anyways, uh, take care, everybody, and I'll see you later.